Hello, sorry to disappoint anyone if you were expecting a Wonder Woman 1984 review. I'm My theater's currently closed, and I honestly want to wait and see that movie until my theater reopens, because I want that experience. But I saw this movie in the meantime. Yeah, today I'm going to review the 2020 movie, Soul. So the plot of this movie is where this man named Joe Garner, played by Jamie Foxx, he has a music teacher, and he always... He has a good life teaching students, and he really likes his career, and one day he gets in an accident, and he dies. Oh, well, not really. It's not graphic or anything. It's a kid's movie, and his soul comes out, and he's transported to this world, and he sees a bunch of other souls, and he doesn't like that he's there because he thinks that he's not ready to die, so... He comes across another soul named 22, played by Tina Fey, and they go on a little journey and try to get Joe resurrected and get his bot get inside his body again. I really enjoyed this movie. This movie was very cute. Um, this is basically what I want in a Pixar movie. It's a it's a cute, colorful, fun movie that I think the whole family can enjoy. And yeah, I was really entertained with this movie. The animation is fantastic. Like, oh, Pixar has been getting really good with their movies recently in terms of animation quality. Like, the hu like the human characters, like, duh, obviously they don't look like real people. This isn't the Polar Express. But, you know, they, they look good. They're very cartoony and exaggerated. And all the colors, like when you see the world of the souls, and there's some like animated, uh, owl, there's some characters who are kind of 2D, like they're animated outlines, and it's a really neat idea. And the movie does have a pretty cool concept of like it's not just heaven, like always, because that would be kind of cliched, but it's like a world of souls, and it's really cool. It's Kind of like Inside Out, honestly. A lot of this movie does remind me of Inside Out a lot. Because I feel like they were kind of just wanted to remake the movie. But I guess it works fine with this kind of movie. And there's some good... There's not really a lot of adult jokes. But I think like kids will mostly like... There's some good visual jokes. Like if you see some jokes in the background. Like if you miss them the first time. Go... Go back and rewatch them. There's actually some good visual jokes in the background. And it has a good cat, Jamie Foxx. I think he was a really good choice for the main character. He, His voice definitely matches what his character is. And Tina Fey, she's, she's always fun to hear or see. Like, anything with Tina Fey, you know it's going to be fun. And her character, she's kind of a goofball, like, the best friend comic relief. And... Yeah, and she does really fit that well, and I think she was a perfect choice, and it's a lot of fun. There's some, like, uh, unexpected things, like a good chunk of the movie, he's, Joe becomes a cat, like he's, his soul is in the body of a cat, so it kind of becomes spies in disguise for, like, ten minutes. Yeah, that was kind of cute. And, and it's, it's fun. I... Honestly, I liked this more than Onward, like I said, because, I mean, Onward was fun, but it kind of felt more like a DreamWorks movie. This felt more like a Pixar movie. It was, it was fun. I thought it was very cute. If you have Disney Plus and, you know, your kids really want to watch something new and your theaters are closed, I think this is worth a viewing. I think kids will really enjoy it. I think even adults will really enjoy it, because... I actually had a lot of fun with this movie, so that's my review of Soul, so I'll catch you when I'm back.